Hello and welcome to Video DNA, where the English is bad and the tutorials are good. I'm Iran Tabib and today we're gonna look about how we're gonna make this graffiti. We can see that it's painted over time and we see those little blitz of color coming down even after it's done with them. So, um, let's see how we make this cool thing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take this wall and place it inside the new comp button and now what I want to do is I want to track it so the graffiti buildup will stick to the wall so you can do it however you want uh, in this uh, scene I will take the camera track I will right click on the layer and I'm gonna track camera it and in the meantime I can open a new comp and and start to prepare the graffiti so I'm gonna call this graffiti and we're gonna check we're gonna take this one that seems just fine um, and I'm gonna press OK and I'm gonna take the text tool and I want to write video DNA and I'm gonna take the color and turn it to black I'm gonna eliminate the stroke and now I'm gonna scale this up a bit so that's not such a nice font let's check something every font will be just fine uh, you just need to uh, find something that's bold enough and thick enough anyway I'm gonna take century gothic um, let's take the gothic one and let's take the bold type okay so now we have the text we want to open it like it's been drawn so I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm gonna draw the way I want it to open so I'm gonna take it a little bit closer and now I'm gonna press um, I'm gonna make a path that will describe how this layer is gonna open up or gonna be drawn so remember to do it in the order that you want to open it and you don't want to break this path you want it to be one single path so I'm gonna make the D now and I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna go to the bottom of the N yeah I'm not writing it right so that's because it's not really important because it's a graffiti and where you paint when you paint graffiti you should be aware of cops and not writing things down right so this looks just right and I'm gonna take the stroke effect which is gonna open it it's a really nice effect and we can put it on the layer and we see that we have this really really tiny small uh, white stroke we're gonna make it a little bit wider um, until it's gonna cover almost everything uh, we can fix this but we don't really have to because it's gonna be a graffiti it does not have to be this accurate so and now I want it to open so I'm gonna go to the end and I'm gonna take it down to zero I'm gonna put a keyframe and after three seconds or so maybe two seconds uh, I want it to open up until 100 so the stroke will cover all the text and what we got now is like a painting of white on this text so I don't want it to paint the white I just wanted to reveal the original image and now I'm gonna get this cool thing yeah this looks pretty nice and now I want to make the little drippings the drip the drip how do you say that the little drops that coming down after I'm pulling it after I'm finishing the opening of the text so I'm gonna take a new solid and it's gonna be a black solid and I'm gonna make it comp size okay I'm gonna press ok and actually I don't want to see it right now I'm gonna turn it off for now and while it's selected I'm gonna take the pen tool and I'm gonna make one line that describes the dropping maybe the dropping no not the dropping the drop um, maybe I'm gonna take this little dot maybe down okay yeah that looks okay and now I'm gonna continue making it so I'm gonna make another one but After Effects thinks that I want to make a continuous path well I want to break it to a few paths so I'm gonna get a lot of paths so I'm gonna press control or command key if you're on a Mac and I'm gonna paint right over here and maybe another one over here oops 
forgot to press the control button and that looks just fine maybe this one should be a little bit shorter maybe two over here one long one and another one that's a little bit shorter maybe one over here and one over here longer okay now let's take the O I'm gonna press the tilde button so I can see things better uh, maybe one over here and it should be straight so I'm gonna press shift maybe one over here and another one over here and another one over here and for D another one over here another one over maybe here and a few small ones over here here and here and for the end, I'm gonna make right on this side, and maybe one over here, and another one over here, and another one over here, even longer. And for the A, one over here, and one over here, and maybe another one over here. Well, that looks just fine. And now I want to bring back the layer I'm gonna call this drops and I'm gonna put the stroke effect once again uh, on this layer and again I don't want this stroke first of all I don't I don't want only that mask uh, I want the effect to include all masks so now I have a lot of these dots I can actually paint it black and change it to on to transparent so we can see only the on, only the strokes and I want to keyframe it so it's very important that if you notice that I created the paths um, in the same direction and the same flow of the opening of the text there so it's gonna open the same so now I'm gonna take it back and now I'm gonna press end once again and after two seconds, there even a little bit more, uh, it's gonna go one to 100. So we got something that looks like this. Yeah, looks pretty nice. And now, I don't want it to stop. I want it to continue the, the flow of those drops. So I'm gonna go to frame zero, even a little bit later. Um, and I'm gonna select all the masks gonna go to this select the first one and press ctrl a select all of them and now I want to put a keyframe on the mask path and I'm gonna go until I think four seconds and now I want to make another keyframe but first of all I need to select all those uh, bottom points of all of those strokes we just created so I'm gonna select this one and this one while pressing shift so after we'll know that I'm trying to select more than one I can drag select but I need to be very careful not to select any points I didn't mean to okay so those two and this one and those two and the last one okay so now I have all of the points so I'm gonna take all of those points to the bottom like this and so we have an animation like this and it's continue the drooling yeah it looks like a snot or like someone looking at a really really nice meal and we can see that we have a little jumps it's hard to see but uh, if we want to make this better we're gonna go to the spacing of the stroke effect and we're gonna change it to back to zero and maybe I want to change the width a bit so we can see it even better and maybe I'm gonna turn off all the mask visibility and now we have something like this maybe it's a little bit too exaggerated but you can do whatever you want you can change it you can make it even a bit smaller or maybe take it even further but I'm happy with this uh, result and now I want to go back to the a wall comp and we have all of those dots because After Effects just finished uh, the camera tracking and I want to make a solid over here so I can have a reference to where to put uh, the graffiti layer so I'm gonna select all of those points on the wall I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna select create 
uh, solid and a camera. And now I have a camera and a solid. And what's actually pretty nice over here that the camera is actually moving and the solid sticks to its place. But because the solid is 3D and the camera is moving, we can see that uh, the solid doesn't stay in the same place. It's like moving like it's inside the scene. So now I want to take the graffiti and then can actually drag it by pressing Alt and releasing it on the selected track solid. So now we have uh, the solid in the same place. It just got replaced. It's a nice trick. So I'm gonna scale it up and I'm gonna take it even maybe a little bit up. And I want to make sure this looks right because it, ju it just looks too perfect. So I want to change it a bit. So I'm gonna go to a really nice effect that's called Roughen Edges. And I'm gonna put it on the graffiti layer. And actually we have a pretty nice result over here, but we can change it a bit. Maybe we can uh, change the borders a bit. And the sharpness is just fine. The fractal influence is just fine. Maybe we can scale it maybe up a bit. And we're gonna stretch it a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. And actually that's it, that, that looks pretty fine. And I want to change how it looks by the colors and I want it to look like it was brushed in. So I'm gonna take Fractal Noise. It's one of the best effects in the software. Um, I'm gonna change the noise type to Block. And I'm gonna go to the Transform. And I want to scale it up, but only on the y-axis. So I'm going to go to the height. I'm going to get something like this. And I'm going to blend this layer and multiply so I can see it better. And now I'm going to continue changing uh, the fractal type. No, the actually the contrast and the brightness. So I'm going to brightness. Actually, I'm going to darken it a bit. And now we have all this small detail, like a little brush came over there and did it. So it's really nice. And it doesn't have to be this straight. We can actually go to the rotation and maybe change a little bit. So it's gonna be a little bit less perfect. And now uh, I can see that it's very, very, actually let's go to the full. And I can see that it's really, really sharp compared to um, the video. So I'm gonna maybe fast blur it a bit maybe you know like a pixel or so and I can add noise but actually I'm pretty happy with this result and it's really important that it's gonna while it's moving it will have a nice motion blur so I'm gonna go to the motion blur I'm gonna turn it off for the layer and for the comp and now because I made 180 it's a lot of motion blur and maybe I can scale it down to 90 no, I think 180 is just fine. And actually, I think we're done. Let's see the result. Yeah, maybe you can change the edit a bit. Um, so I want this to start happening, start the, the drawing, actually when we watch the V. Okay, so I think right over here. And now let's watch it. Yeah, looks pretty good. Um, now I can maybe get, uh, maybe change a bit the, the color. So I'm gonna open up uh, a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna put a little bit of curves and maybe I'm gonna take it down a bit. Maybe I'm gonna take the red and give it a little bit of coldness in it. And go to the greens and let's go over here. I think I want this to be a little bit magenta uh, so it's gonna be a little bit pinkier okay yeah that looks pretty nice maybe the greens a bit maybe we're gonna go to the blues and introduce a little bit of yellows yeah looks pretty nice and you can take it however you want to which direction that you want I'm pretty happy with this re result it looks pretty good and actually that's it I hope you learned something. Uh, you can support the site by downloading the project files. And so I can make uh, keep doing this really, really good tutorials with really, really bad English. 
So thank you. I'm Riolan Tabib. See you next time.